let's have a beautiful experience in this video we're going to talk about accountability and how it can help you manifest a bigger penis naturally raise testosterone and your human growth hormone it's a beautiful thing you gotta love it all right before we get started here please do me a huge huge favor please ring the bell you know subscribe to the channel tell us some friends of course, give me the earth that finds a really thumbs up, like, so I say, hey, you know, follow me on my social media. I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on my Instagram, Snapchat, I'm Young Dago. And that's right. In this video, we're going to be talking about accountability and how it can help you manifest a bigger penis because you know what we're all about here in the BCC, the Big Cat Collective, the Big Cat Consciousness, where I help you manifest a bigger, wider, thicker, longer, stronger, and higher penis, naturally raised at HGH and testosterone. I'm a spiritual mentor and a guide, and I can increase your size. So any s serious inquiries, please get at me in the BCC. I'm here for you. can design many programs around schedules and how to, you know, tap into what we got to do to manifest the best. And now, without further ado, I'm here to tell you about accountability. And you could count on me waiting for you in the parking lot. That's a, you know, quick movie reference for you, some Happy Gilmore. And if I'm getting you smiling, you know I'm doing something right. Because the smile's made in the mind. It's a divine thing, and it's beautiful to share whenever you can. And, when we're talking about accountability, it's more or less, you know, just, you know, drawing a line in the sand saying this is what I'm doing no matter what. And you're just going to commit to the growth. So go ahead and write down, I am committed to growth. And when you're committed to growth, you're holding yourself accountable to doing things that can help you achieve the growth. And, you know, of course, you know me, I like to tap into collective beliefs to help me achieve. I was talking about that yesterday a little bit in a previous video. And there's many collective beliefs out there that can help you achieve certain things. So a phrase I like to go with at, you know, particular times that I'm just like, you know, I could use some guidance. I will say what collective belief can help me achieve. So you can write that down if you want. And, you know, like I say, a collective belief is just things that are you know just a, a a backing of an idea that has power behind it and something like really simple like uh you know like for one um you know i just tr i just trimmed up my chest right now you know got that vanity insanity but more or less it's just something that i started to commit to do for me because i find that you know it's um like bodybuilders all do it so there you go that's a collective belief in itself so you figure you're getting in the mindset of what bodybuilders do and you're doing something that can show through to you so it's like all right they shave their body hair so that's something that you're going to do to help gear you in the right direction setting you up for growth and that's somewhat of a collective belief and a collective idea to really help get it to you. But, you know, like I said, you're not seeing any bodybuilders up there that are hairy. I don't mind having some hair. You know, I was even thinking about it. You know, like, you know, you, you might see me some chest hair every now and again whenever I want to change up the vibe. It does get kind of cold in Michigan and Detroit Rock City. And, you know, me, I travel around. But, you know, once in a while, you know, I'd like to have it there a little bit, you know. But, you know, like I said, man, just changing up the vibe. Committing to the growth and a collective belief is something that can help you achieve. And now, when we're going with being uh, accountable to growth, that's something as simple as, you know, like um, dedicating every day to either saying your affirmations and, you know, masturbation for manifestation, which is something that is a, you know, it's a technique that I can teach you more hands on that can help you achieve beautiful thing make you manifest some miracles because i am open for a miracle go ahead and write that down i love that sound and just with that you know that we're magic and divine and you got to say that we can increase our size so i am magic i am divine i can increase my size and why not just show you that quick juicy pump that i can get with the mind muscle connection which is another collective belief to help you achieve and you can fit physically see the growth and I mean that's a beautiful thing I'm sitting there naked in the chair 
Hey, you know, and this is what it's all about. I'm able to get a pump without even having to lift a weight because my mind and my body are connected to show you and to demonstrate the growth. I'm excited because I'm going to the gym tonight. I'm accountable to my growth, and that's what I'm here for you to do, having you have some accountability for the growth. And that's something that you got to go with. That's something that you got to flow with. It's something that you got to know that you're on the right track. And when you're committed to growth, you're not going to let anything get in your way to stop you from having a beautiful day. And with that, I might as well go ahead and, you know, change up the position a little bit. You see that, you know. These are called Zatman curls when you go up and you twist it down. So you're learning some fitness here as we go. But we're going to go ahead and put up that heart because <laughs> I'm getting it pumping now. I got my, got my, I got my, I got a pump going. I'm going to pump this heart. And always got to share the matrix hack no matter what. It's worth sharing every single day. If you see somebody that comes along your way, if you see somebody on the other side of the room, you see somebody on the TV screen, you hear somebody on the phone, and you could be neutral in any, every single kind of way, you know, instead of thinking that this person looks like this, sounds like that, just go ahead and be neutral and just intend on them to have a beautiful day and go along your way. Intend on them to feel love in some kind of way. And actually, you know, I, I utilize that my technique today. You know, I'm on the phone and got to deal with some business and, you know, you're in a stressful situation. And it's just like, you know, like when you're on those phones and you're talking uh, to customer service, you got to give them respect no matter what because they got to deal with a lot of people that are stressed out all day and they got to they got to ride their storm being neutral because they know that this is how they get paid today and you know you you can it's very easy to get triggered and want to just you know just start yelling at somebody but that is a that's um, an insecurity and an old programming that doesn't need to be there. You don't need to get mad at the person that's on the other line of the phone. And that's why you know one of the, that technique that I'm talking about, where you come with love and compassion, will definitely change the matrix of where you're at. And sure, sure enough, you could just feel the vibe through the phone. And that's, you know, it's, it might, you know, might just all be whatever perspective in my head, but I really believe this technique and I feel that we're changing the world for the better when you do this type of stuff. And it's like, I'm just thinking like, you know, whatever was going on with the situation, I'm just like, I intend on this person to have a beautiful day, feel love in some kind of way. And I just stayed neutral and neutral and then bam, my situation got handled in the best kind of way. They did exactly what I needed them to do. And that's a beautiful thing. And, you know, like, always come with that gratitude because gratitude is the attitude. You always got to write that down. Whenever I wake up, you know, first step that I take out of bed, that first, you know, right here, here it comes. That first breath, I got to say, I got a shot today, man. It's a beautiful thing. You feel that energy because you're alive. So go ahead and write down that I got a shot. I can increase my size. I'm beautiful. And these are the things that you got to, these are mantras that can help you, you know, get through the day, help you motivate and help you manifest the best. And that's what we're all about here, holding each other accountable. And that's more or less what the BCC can help you do. It's about, you know, being dedicated to the growth. And if you want to, you know, the more people they get behind this, the better off it's going to be because we can help, we can hold each other accountable on our growth techniques and, you know, finding out the best ways to manifest, rooting for each other along the way, never getting stressed out about anybody's progress, being happy for the growth. Because when it's all about building people up, you know what I have to say, the triple D. And no, we ain't talking about Janice Davis and Glass, Guy Fieri. We're talking about don't doubt your dick. We're talking about don't make your stick. Your stick, instead make it a huge piece of meat, swinging at the knees, dropping the apex, making you your best. And it's not about getting mad about where anybody's at and getting shocked or whatever and being sad and mad and 
doubting anybody's feelings because like i mean you know you're talking to the macho uh type of guys and sometimes they might say uh things that they don't really mean about somebody else's peace and that's no way to be i mean it's just like you know it might be an insecurity whatever it is this that or the other be neutral about it and you know i i believe that you got a beautiful cock i'm here to tell you that you got a beautiful dick and you know that might sound sick to sick to some but nonetheless, man, the phallus and, you know, the penis is a beautiful gift. It's a piece of the divine. And every time you're holding that piece of meat between your hands, you're essentially holding a piece of God. So if you want to write that down, that's something beautiful. Because I'm holding God right now is what you could be saying. And, you know, when you're holding, you know, when you're holding your meat and you understand that we are all divine. We are all, you know, created in the image. We are all, you know, eternal beings. And the light that's inside inside of me is inside of you it's inside the blue and all truths are true so you just gotta find the ones that make you you and you gotta understand that you know the light that's driving these beautiful avatars man there you know there's some power in there and they can definitely increase and manifest the best making you you know be you know be everything and more and there's no need to ever doubt any any of your friends anybody that you see Putting somebody down is getting you nowhere, essential, essentially. Because when you really think about this, you know, um, when the when I always gotta say the universe is a mirror, and like you know, if you want beauty to appear, you gotta keep this clear. So you know, no negative thoughts in here. Any, and you gotta really read your thoughts because thoughts are powerful. They are, you know, words are powerful. And you gotta understand if all thoughts are things, let's create some beautiful things today, man. There's no need to think about anything negative. And when you're like, you know, whenever you say something bad about something, in a way you're saying it about yourself, man. So you gotta really think about that. Don't judge anybody and be like, oh, you know, it's just be neutral about it. You know, take your, take yourself out of the situation and understand that, you know, is this my thought or just some thought that is just coming to me? So, like, you know, don't feel bad that you might uh, have a quick judgment pass, but just let it go. Just be like, you know, don't, you know, don't flow into the, ne into the negative. You know what I mean? Just acknowledge it, okay, and then just, you know, go, you know, go and flow onto something else. Grow into the love, man. It's always there, you know. Just let it pass and dissipate, and we're here to, you know, manifest the best and not you know worry about not worry about the rest don't get stressed always smile and always do something for you always make sure that you you know every day you always make sure you're getting back to source because when you're smiling and you're laughing and you're blissful and you're happy you are at the true core of what we are all meant to be and that's something that you got to do on a day to day and you know as long as what you're doing isn't taken away from you then you're doing it in the best possible ways. You know, some people might think that, you know, drinking's no good, doing drugs is no good, uh, watching too much TV is no good. You know, I mean, all that stuff is really, like I say, all perspective. And, you know, if this is something that's helping you, you know, get to this, then we're doing something right. And I'm not saying that, you know, you know, um, to just get lost in the you know, TV shows and alcohol and drugs. I don't condone that at all. But I'm just saying, like, if it's something that's going to make you feel good today, you know, go check out something on the Netflix or go see something, go see a comedy show, you know, go watch a movie, be entertained and just be, you know, in that smiling light, then you're doing something right. And that's all it really comes down to, man. There's no need to overthink this whole thing and and uh you have to act like you're some guru and you know go home on a mountain like Whoa. I had to do that real quick man like, that's a quick mate that's a collective belief in a matrix hack too to help you achieve that omen <laughs> omen is uh you know the the om is like a mantra that a lot of positive people are behind when they're doing that and you can tap into that energy but i'm not saying you don't gotta do that to you know feel bliss you know it's something that you can do at a given time if you want to tap into it you know go ahead and give it a shot and be like you know what that does feel good if not you don't want to do it nobody's mad at you it's just something that's always there and that's why, you know, another collective belief is yoga. And as you know, Pearl Mahansa Yogananda, the guy that wrote the autobiography of a yogi, 
the book that Steve Jobs wrote, I'm talking into Steve Jobs right now, how you doing? And, you know, like I say, you know, um, yeah, it's one of the books that he tells people to read because it shows, you know, people that um, we're magic and we're divine and we can do magical things. And he's the guy that brought, you know, yoga here to the West. And he always, uh, you know, one of his quotes is, the mind is the wielder of muscle. And that really, you know, that makes sense, man, because there was a guy in there that was, uh, you know, overweight and he never ate anything in his life. And then, of course, you know, being, you know, being uh, the way that we're at, like, well, okay, like, I'm going to go ahead and get in this. Um, there's a story in there about some guy that, like, he's overweight and he never eats food. But it's like, why wouldn't you manifest yourself as a massive bodybuilder and not eat food? That, you know what I mean? But maybe I'm here to do that. You know what I mean? This is This could be the whole message in the universe you know, sharing this gift with you to help you manifest. And, you know, at that point, it made sense in, in the time that the story was written, and it's helping, you know, continue go and helping us all to continue to grow because that's what we're all about here in this flow in the BCC. And, you know, I, I, you know, I intend on to continuously grow, and I manifest the best, and I'm seeing myself, you know, grow every day, and I'm feeling my penis get bigger, and I'm always seeing my muscles getting bigger, and getting leaner and you know the mantras the affirmations and all this stuff is really helping it put in the, you know it's really helping it manifest in the best kind of ways and i intend on you guys to do the same and to get to your best uh, version of what you want to become and you know anything anything out there is you know it's doable and my main intention is for you to feel confident man you should be confident in yourself because you are a loving being we are all light we are all love we are all beautiful always go out there with that love intention and do beautiful things today everything's gonna be beautiful and when you go with that you can do no wrong energy and love is like you know like that's just the mix of life that's gonna help you be you know a delight and that's something that's a nice rhyme that you can write down man I, you know, write that down, maybe I'll rewind it and just get that right, because the universe is always flowing through me to help me manifest, you know, beautiful rhymes and beautiful sayings to really help everybody manifest the best, and, you know, there's energies that always come to me that are profound, and I, you know, I'm, I'm impressed at any given time when they come to me, and I just feel, you know, I'm happy and grateful that they that they come, and I'm happy to share these with you because, you know, I know that this is magic, and we are divine, and we can increase our size, and I'm here for you to do that, and, you know, there's going to be plenty more beautiful experiences along the way. If you really want any serious type of help, you know, I'm a one-on-one -on -one coach. I can really, you know, help, you know, get to the get to the root get to the cause, help you, you know, put something together, put, you know, practice in the play, um, help you set up some manifestations, you know, because there's no need to go around and be like, oh, if I had this time and that, you always have the right time no matter what. Your body and your spirit and your mind can acclimate and we can always manifest the best. And that's something that you never need to be stressed about. Understand that you have enough time to do it. And that's why accountability was the motivation of the day. And it's more or less just, you know, just stand, stay, stick into your gun, stick into your program. Um, stick into, you know, stick into the growth is really what it all comes down to. Every day doing something that's going to help you in some kind of way. And that's that's what it is, man. Like, you know, if you got to go to the gym today, that's what it's about. And if you, you know, if you know that you can't make it today, then that's when you can, you know, do some groga. Or you can go do some, you know, some kegels, some edging, some super edging. All the, you know, big penis, you know, exercises really help you manifest the best. Of course, you know, taught more hands-on if you really want, you know, if you really need that kind of help. I'm here for you. And, yeah, man. It's a beautiful thing. I'm here to, you know, show you guys that, you know, miracles can happen. And I'm here to, you know, help you become your best version. And, yeah, you know, accountability is what it's all about, man. Stay, uh, stay into your word. So, with that, you know, there's going to be plenty more beautiful experiences to come. I'm here for you. Of course, give me, you know, if you like this video, give me that Arthur Fonzarelli thumbs up, like, so I say, hey, and you know, I've been saying this so much that I actually got a nice uh, YouTube clip of all the greatest 
Fonzarelli entrances, and that was something fun to watch. It made me smile. So get out there and do something that makes you smile today. Spread love every which way that you can. Make sure you guys follow me on my social media. You know, get you know, check out my wolf and my bear. My cat C's always taking out, you know, taking care of the neighborhood. And you know, like Rocky Balboa says, hey, yo. I didn't hear no bell. So make sure you ring the bell, because I'm putting content out daily. And, you know, that's that's all I got to say about that. Quick movie analogy before I go. Forrest Gump action. And, you know, I love you guys. You know, there's going to be plenty more to come. You guys are beautiful. And, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys around. Peace.